Humans have this really extraordinary abilities to combine our different uh, senses. And uh, as a robotics researcher, where I do manipulation research, I'm especially interested in how we can combine our sense of vision and sense of touch for tasks that uh, require a lot of contact. So to give an example, uh, inserting your charger into a, into a wall outlet or inserting a key into a lock, all of these tasks involve both um, our, our sense of vision and also really requires a sense of touch in order to do these tasks. Um, so we want to be able to teach robots how to combine these very different sensor modalities. Um, and we do this by trying to learn a representation that's able to learn the features from these very, very different modalities. Um, if we can find features uh, that that are common across different types of tasks, we can then use the same representation uh, to generalize across different tasks. So in this work, uh, we use a neural network architecture to learn a representation that combines RGB images, force torque sensor readings from a um, uh, wrist attached force torque sensor and robot states. Um, and in order to learn this representation, we use something called self-supervised learning, which means that we don't need any manual uh, annotations and labeling of our data. We can just collect data that comes freely with labels. Um, and once we learn this representation, we can then use that as a state input for any kind of policy learning algorithm. In this case, we're using deep reinforcement learning. Um, and we can, uh, we can learn a policy which takes in this representation uh, from the different modalities as a state input and come up with the actions to solve a certain task. We're able to find that this representation that we find generalizes across tasks in the same task family, uh, which means you only learn, need to learn one representation that works for different types of tasks. Um, uh, yeah, and for more information, yeah, you can come to our uh, our website, uh, which will be linked. Um, we have our paper on archive and also our video that shows more experimental results of our work.